This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening, and welcome to Sports Saturday. I'm Julian Gibson, the Buddy Heels Summer Basketball Workshop taking place yesterday at the Kendall I6 Gym. And folks, by the count of it, we might have some future Buddy Heels in the making. It was great, you know, we learned a lot. It's talented. So, you believe in the future you could be just like Buddy? Better. What do you say that? So, you know, I, if I, if I do dedication and practice all the things he teach me, it could be better. Uh, it was well, and it was great to see Buddy. And it was good to work with us. Um, the team that came with him, it was good. So in the future, you believe you could be like Buddy? Yes, sir. Positive. What is it going to take? Work, hard work. Um, I'm able to learn how to be a more of a team person, not just hogging because my team, most of my teammates was good, so it was hard for me to keep hogging the ball, so that's one of the things I learned today. In the future, you think you could be like a future buddy? Here? No, so I think I'd be better than buddy. Here. Yeah, why you say that? Because <laughs> I don't want just settle for good. I want to settle for perfect. And for Buddy Heal, it's all about giving back. He believes in the future of this country. You know, everything I do is for the Bahamas, and uh, you know, uh, it wasn't for the Bahamas. My upbringings, you know, I'm nothing. So uh, I value everything I got. And, uh, and it wasn't for my mom, you know, teach me the ropes and uh, putting God first in everything I do. You know, everything is not possible. So uh, even right now, it's not possible with God. You know, you see the vision that we had. Switching to flag football, Grand Bahama taking on New Providence. Of course, those championship results, ladies and men, will come your way tomorrow. But we can tell you flag football is well alive in the 242. This year, we have topped the, the most teams we've had uh, within our adult league um, since its inception. I mean, here in Nassau. And uh, we're even bigger now because we have, we, last year we started our youth league. And we started off, I think we had a total of six teams in our youth division. And we're just wrapping up actually a summer camp right now. And so we're looking to have at least 10 teams uh, when our youth division opens in September. A number of national teams competing overseas. Let's check out our under-17 boys from the Central Basket Tournament. They lost a tough one against Puerto Rico. 83-75. to 75. Also losing our senior girls national volleyball team. They are now 0-3. They lost a three-setter to Guadalupe. And from softball, our under-17 girls national softball team in Clearwater, Florida. Their record after competing, now 1-4. Korea beating the Bahamas yesterday, 14-2. Shifting gears to basketball, our junior ladies national basketball team, they are working out around the clock, getting ready for Puerto Rico. Right now, the team is basically working on offense and defense, and we're trying to get them conditioned so that they'll be in proper shape when they head to Puerto Rico to represent the Bahamas. You like the chemistry, the makeup, and uh, the team coming together and gelling and being on one accord? Yeah, basically for the past two months, the girls are working good together, making sure that they know how each person won the ball passed to them and building a good chemistry amongst them. From the sailing beach, the Grand Bahama Class Series got a getting started today over there in beautiful Tino Beach. Make sure to tune in to ZNS Total Sports. First thing tomorrow, we will give you all of the results. Still on the sailing beach, Black Point Organizing Committee, they are wasting no time in preparation for their Class Series regatta. Oh, we have King and Knights, that's Stefano Camp. We have the Witty K. Uh, Stefan Knowles, as everybody know, uh, the champion, uh, all you got he went to. And we have the crazy bard now, we have legal weapon, H2O, smashy, uh, the new boat, uh, not really new, but it's a boat I haven't seen in a while, Slaughter. Yeah, he's coming back. And we have By Gully, Chaser, Lady Honest, Revelation, and, and, and a few more names to the boat, but there's a lot of boats, probably have about 15 boats coming into Blackburn this, this year. Well, that's all the time for Sports Saturday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Special thanks to my hardworking cameraman, Ashley Taylor, who covers Buddy Heal every second, every minute, all his college games, all his NBA games. Stay tuned. You better forecast. It's still to come.